This video course is a part of LearnSD project, which is an interactive web platform for learning sound design. You can do things like that there. Or like this. You can also follow our Max Life course on LearnSD website and get even more information about every lesson. The whole project is just starting. So it is really interesting to hear your opinion. You can write it in the comments to this video. Hi, I'm Tim Shatney. Today I want to create with you a delay audio effect as Max for Life device. And I prepared this drum loop for testing of our audio effect. Good, so let's start creating. We create a template for building an audio effect go to editing mode and now we zoom in and at that point we would need something to create a delay effect so in this case we need a delay line delay line is such an algorithm which records an incoming audio in some buffer and plays it back from there after some time which creates this effect of delay and to do this delay line, we need two objects. The first one is top in, and it's an input to delay line. In its first argument, we can specify the maximum delay time. For example, 3000, 3000 milliseconds. And the second object is top out, top out, and it's an output from a delay line. In its argument, we can say what would be the initial delay time for it. So 250 milliseconds. And now we would need to connect our delay line in parallel with our audio channels. So we do it like that for the left channel. And we need to create actually the second delay line for the right channel and connect it also in parallel with already existing connection. Save it TS, for example, dot delay. And close. Let's test it. So it obviously works. Now let's create some controls. The first control would be a time control. So we do the live dial and take the prototype, which is called time. And here we have possibility to get millisecond values. Actually, this is just numbers from zero to thousand. But on this GUI object, we can also see kind of that this is milliseconds. So we connect this controller to tap out objects, save. And now we can change the delay time in real time. And although it works already pretty good, we still have one problem. And this problem appears when we quickly modulate this time parameter. We hear these clicks, this so-called zipper noise, because we abruptly change this delay time for our delay lines. We had the same problem for our gain audio effect in previous lessons. And we solved this problem with help of linear interpolation. So let's do it also like that in this audio effect. So let's solve this problem the same way. So we do this $1.50 message and send this message into line tilde object, which is linear signal RAM generator. And now we connect actually this time controller with this message with its hot inlet. And with such an algorithm, now we would linearly interpolate in time of 50 milliseconds between the incoming values of this time controller. So now I just need to connect the line till the output to tap out. And after saving it, we would hear that the problem dissolved.
But actually, we also hear that there appeared something else. And this is this repitch effect, like on a tape delay. And that's exactly what it should be like, because we have this linear interpolation and it generates exactly that thing. We could even emphasize this effect if you want it. And uh, we need just to change, for example, this interpolation time from 50 milliseconds. We could make it 500 milliseconds and save. And now we can hear that it is... ...even more clear. And this is already a setting for your taste. And uh, this would just give a character to your delay audio effect. Cool. So now what we are lacking here is a uh, feedback, actually. And feedback is generated when we send the output of delay line to its input. We could do it like that, but then it would be not the best thing to do because we have no control over the amount of feedback. To actually have a control of amount of feedback, we would need again this kind of gain control between the output and input of a delay line. So we create this asterisk sign tilde object, which is a multiplication object for two signals and then we connect the output of tap out to this multiplication object and output of multiplication object we connect with tap in. And now here we could actually send a value to the right inlet of this uh, multiplication object and with this we would be able to control the amount of feedback. So we could just copy this one, let's make it back to 50 for both. And then here I want to go to amount prototype and in inspector change the range from 0 to 1. And then unit style would be float. So now we can control the feedback amount from 0 to 1. We can even change the name of this dial, write feedback amount. Maybe it's too, too long, let's just make feedback. And then connect this line output to multiplication. Let's do the same for the first delay line. And save it, close it. And you hear that the feedback is really working. Nice, so we did our delay audio effect. The only thing which we could also observe now is how to create a ping pong delay. The ping pong delay is such a special type of delay where we actually send feedback from one delay line to another one and from another one to first one. So now we just disconnect this feedback connections and do it in another way. So this would go to the second delay line for the feedback and the second delay line actually would go for its feedback to the first delay line, like that. And then we get the feedback, which generates a ping pong delay effect. And we could create actually the second control for time of delay to independently control the time of two different delay lines. So we just disconnect this, create this copy and connect this copy with the second delay line. Like this, save. And so now they have a little different time and we obviously would hear the ping pong delay effect.
and if we have a feedback which is equal to one then we would have an infinite loop like that and it would hold forever and that's kind of the way how you could also create a looper effect but that's what I would like to leave for you and your own experimentation. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and we will see us in the next one. Bye bye.